guys, I am back for another update. This is going to be my 34 week update. Um, please excuse the wet hair, I actually just got out of the shower. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on and kind of show you my belly and stuff like that. So my last update, I told you guys that I was placed on bed rest. Um, my doctor actually took me off of um, full time bed rest and put me on modified bed rest. And basically that means I'm allowed to get up and do light cleaning around the house. Um, I'm allowed to do a little bit of walking, um, no more than 15 minutes. Um, I can't do like any heavy lifting, um, any exercising other than walking, obviously. Um, so I'm allowed to, you know, make dinner, take a shower, things like that. Um, so that made me feel a little bit better. I'm no longer taking the nifedipine or Procardia, a stage of my pregnancy that if I were to go into labor that where baby is considered viable to be born at this stage. As far as contractions going, um, a couple nights ago I had them pretty pretty close together. Um, they were getting more painful. Able to um, lay on my left side for a little bit, kind of try to relax, drink some water, and eventually I was able to get into a comfortable position where I was able to fall asleep and. The next morning I was no longer having contractions. I'm still getting them. They're, um, I'm still getting the contractions. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing. Um, if I do too much, I notice um, that they do increase and that they, are, they do become regular, so I try to take it easy throughout the day. Pants are definitely stronger. Um, I was actually kind of worried the other day because she kind of slowed down in her movements, um, but when she did move they were definitely really, really strong um, to the point that it was a little bit painful. And I also noticed too, when she does move a lot, um, I do start to have contractions. So I think that's part of just having a you know irritable uterus. It's just going to happen. She is measuring between four. Um, she is measuring between three and a half to four pounds. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how much she's going to be when she's born. Um, Dallas obviously was a preemie, so he was on the smaller side. Um, but I'm curious to see. Um, what she's going to look like and how much she's going to weigh. Um, when the last ultrasound I had that was actually done in the hospital, um, she has um, Dave, my husband's face shape, and she has the chubbiest cheeks ever. They are just so cute. I just want to pinch them. Um, so I'm hoping that she's a little bit on the bigger side just because, I don't know, <laughs> I just think that it would be healthier for her to be on the bigger side. So, um... I, she's definitely long. Um, she has her feet um, kind of curled up and into my ribs. Um, I have a short torso because I am on the shorter side. I'm, I guess, like normal short, which is like 5'4". So uh, my torso is really short too. So I think that's why I show so much. I show so early. Um, and it just feels like she's super long. Instead of doing every two week appointments, I'm doing every week appointments with my doctor. And I'm doing twice weekly NSTs to check on, um, to check on baby, make sure that she's not getting stressed out, and to monitor my contractions. Um, I'm not sure how long he plans on doing those, um, but I'm kind of glad that I'm getting them done just because, um, you know, I want to make sure that she's okay in there, obviously, and you know, make sure that these contractions are anything to worry about. Things are going, obviously, just contractions. Um, I've been very tired, um, really emotional, and I think a lot of it has to do because I am back home, and um, you know, my husband's not here with me, and I miss him a lot. Anxiety hasn't been too bad. Um, I haven't had any anxiety packs any anxiety attacks since I got here, which is kind of crazy to me because um, everything that's been going on and kind of, you know, being so worried about baby and just everything else, everything else that's been going on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really excited for Halloween. Um, I'm going to try to take Dallas around, um, around the neighborhood to go trick-or-treating. Um, I'm probably going to be sitting in, in my parents' van most of the time while they take them up, take him up to the houses and stuff, but, um, I'm just really excited for Halloween for him. I know he's super excited. My mom's actually putting together his costume tonight, which he's going to be Gravedigger, or if you guys know the monster trucks, um, Gravedigger, he wants to be that for Halloween, so my mom's putting together, um, the Gravedigger, Gravedigger monster truck, um, costume out of cardboard, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'll definitely be taking pictures and videos, maybe, um, I'm not sure if I'll post it on here or my blog. I'm not really quite sure. 
um, but I'll definitely let you guys know. So make sure that you follow me on my Facebook page, which is linked below. Um, I post a lot about um, how the pregnancy, how the pregnancy is going, how Dallas is, um, things like that. So if you guys are interested in following us on there and kind of want to keep in touch um, until my next video, you can do that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys for my next update.